Hi there. I thought I would make another video showing people how to load the stainless steel reels with 120 film. Um, for me, the stainless steel reels have always been harder to load in the dark, and it's probably because I just don't have the motions converted to my long-term memory, but here's a typical stainless steel reel, and if you take a look at it, you'll see that there's a spring-loaded holder in the middle, and that's where you actually want to get the film in. The film loads from the inside out in this case, rather than the outside in with the plastic reels. So I wanted to walk through the steps I use in order to load these. The first thing I do is make note with my fingers in the dark. I'm usually using my changing bag. I make note where, which way the, the coil runs, and that gives me reference to use my right hand to then hold my middle finger on this spring. And after I've gotten my 120 film unrolled off of the paper, with my left hand I bring the film into the center of the reel, pull down this spring-loaded hold down with my right hand, and let it go. At this point you'll see the film is held in here tight, it can't go anywhere. And then carefully, with my left hand in my case, I start to push the film around until things feel naturally into the channel here. And once they're in the channel, it only takes the pressure of one finger to kind of pull this around. Very light push because you don't want to have the film bunch up into the same channel two times. You let it roll in here naturally. You just keep going around. You'll be able to tell if things are off kilter. So, And if you do it slowly and get everything in the track, there you have it, you're already wound up on here. And uh, that's the main difference of using the steel reels to the plastic reels. Just remember inside out and uh, figure out your own method to uh, get everything lined up in the dark and get that spring holding the film in the middle and you should be set.